Hello, everybody, my loves, my friends, my baby birds. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Mug and Play. I'm Nick, We're playing more Endless Monday. And just like we said last time, we can't go clubbing. It's still too loud. It's still too expensive. And it probably smells funny. So instead, we're staying here and we're getting more work done. We've already gotten one of our sketches done, so let's keep at it. Being good, responsible adults. It would be irresponsible of me to go clubbing tonight. I'll text Miss Whiskey later and apologize. Again. I like that we're starting to do a little bit of a Groundhog Day thing. She'll forgive me after she sobers up. If she even remembers. <laughs> I'm worried that rest eyes will lead to us just waking up and it being Sunday. Uh, so instead, let's look at our phone. Uh, let's see. Draw advertisement one. Hey, all right, we did it. You know, I feel like we've earned some lumber last time. So, just... <laughs> Why? I like that. Also, is this a game that she made? Because I'm noticing Sky is in, in the game. Let's see if we can get exactly 6,969 logs. If we can get it to 69.69, then we'll declare ourselves uh, the winners because Ninja Sex Party is one of my favorite uh, bands. 9-11? Ah, we went over. Well, that's all right. We got some logs. Uh, whoopsie daisy, unable to load emails. Please contact your system ad. I will not be doing that. Okay. Smartphones. What a good invention. Um, let's take a walk around the office. Oh, you know? I wonder. Hmm, still too quiet, still kind of creepy. If everything's going to be the same. If, like, if we go to the meeting room... Will it still be the same project on the screen? Will we learn more about it? Back in the meeting room. Uh... No, it's still the same presentation as before. Okay. Go back to the main office area. What if we look out the window? Will we uh, find another alien? Let's look out the windows. The city skyline really is quite beautiful at night. Think about city, think about space. Why don't we think about space? Really can't believe I went into space. I was not expecting that. I met a kind of nice space android too. Well, okay, she was actually kind of mean. At least she didn't robo-fry me with her robo-beam. <laughs> Trying to rhyme? Come to think of it, she gave me her number. I should try calling her. Space is supposed to be beautiful. Like, life-changingly beautiful. I didn't even get to see any of it because Keeney's ship didn't have any windows. That's... <laughs> That's a fucking bummer. <laughs> if I went to space and didn't even see space, did I actually go to space? Maybe. Maybe you just got stuck in an elevator. With the, and, and an alien. So why don't we why don't we give Kini a call? Maybe we can get uh, inspired for another drawing. Let's go back to our desk. Make an important phone call to you know our friend, the robot space alien. Uh, look at phone. Call, call Kini. Oh yeah, Kini gave me her contact info. I guess I can call her spaceship with my phone. Their Android technology sure is something. Yeah. I'll give her a ring. Hello? Greetings, Earth Penny. Kini, hi. It's been a long time. It has indeed been some months since we have last met. However, we Androidians are not concerned with such trivialities as time. Oh, uh, okay. Tell that to the Y2K crowd. This is because we have mastered the science of robo-time robo-manipulation. Yeah, that's how you sent me back in time after we had burgers. Thanks, by the way. Indeed. Hmm, that's interesting. My robo-activity robo-detector indicates that you are presently in your office building. Were you not supposed to be relaxing at your place of residence at this time with all of your projects completed? 
Yes, I was supposed to be. Thanks for bringing it up. I, um... This is quite vexing, but not entirely unexpected, given your primitive organic species propensity for idleness. Thank you. Does she think I'm the sole representative of the entire human species? Shit. However, as a token of our continued friendship, I am prepared to transport you back in time again at any point, should you wish. Oh, cool. Um, speaking of that, could you, uh... Do that? Indeed. Just open another transmission with me, should you need my abilities. It is resource-intensive, however, so you may want to save it for a time when you have developed your life experience and wisdom. Yeah, oh, okay, I'll call you if I need to go back in time again. I feel like I just got access to an amazing power. May I assist with anything at this time? If not, I must attend to some high-priority tasks. Yeah, I guess I should get going, too. Bye. Thanks again. I am robo-happy to be of robo-service, Earthpenny. Well, thank you, Robo, thank you very much. Farewell. Wow. Does that mean I don't have to work tonight? I think you should probably still do that. Let's save just to be safe. Got all the logs. Um, I'm worried that this is going to lead to Sunday morning, but here we go. Rest eyes. I at least got something done tonight. That's pretty good, I guess. I don't think I've done everything I can t tonight, though. Maybe I should look at my to-do list again. But it's so late, and I'm just so tired. Rest eyes. Yeah, uh, that seemed a little daunting. That was like an, are you sure? You know what? Not yet. I might have missed something. I'll try to force myself to stay awake a little longer. Yonger. <laughs> Saw the yawn and said the word longer. I haven't talked to Hana in forever. I wonder if she'll be willing to chat. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Totally don't want to just call and ask for inspo for work late at night on the weekend. Hello? Who is this? Uh, hi, Hannah. It's Penny from the creative team. Penny, why are you calling me? Uh, uh, just wanted to know how you're doing. Maybe this was a mistake. Is this work related? Uh, n not really? I mean, do not call me again unless it's related to operations team business. I'm hanging up now. Bye. Wait, it is work related. I really did want to, um, ask you to do my work for- Okay, bye. Well, that was embarrassing. Ugh, stupid. But she was kind of mean too, though. Like, she is to everyone, I guess. Anyway. Wonder what happens if we drink that coffee again? Will we go back in time again? Uh, let's go to the break room. That coffee's still there. Still smells okay. Well, it didn't come with the first time around. What? So you're just gonna drink it again? And I could really use some caffeine about now. Ah, <sighs> well, fine. I'm really not one to say no to coffee, so let's take another sip of psychedelic coffee. Love your job as much as you love coffee. Yeah, no. Still feeling okay from the last one, so it'll probably be fine. Here goes. What's the worst that could happen? Other than it happening again. Oh boy. Uh, uh. Yep, here we go again. <laughs> It's the flashback zones. Don't you know about them? Monday, July 25th, 11.30 a.m. Corporate offers, Office HQ. Also, what is with this comic down here? I want to read this. Six months ago. Hi, kids. I'm Tiger Chan. I live in the jungle with my jungle friends. Let's go on an adventure. Shall we go outside and meet my jungle friends? <laughs> Oh, Tiger Chan, I wonder what sort of fun you'll have with your friends. It's Mr. Koala. Hey, Mr. Koala. Watch out, Tiger Chan. He looks ornery. <laughs> My fucking face. I love that. Not the coconut. Ow, rawr. That sure looks painful. What'll she do next? I'll run, kill you, you <laughs> oh, what a character. <laughs> that 
<laughs> that face. I have made that face many a time. Like, here, watch. This is this is me doing that face. Observe. See? Easy. Mr. Mr. Koala, not even a little bit of remorse. What will Tiger Chan do? I don't even know where to start with this penny. Huh? Tiger Chan? I mean, Miss Whiskey. Can you come with me for a sec? Let's talk in the break room. Ah, oh, crap. I got caught doing comics. She looks mad. So, what's up? Look, Penny, I'll be perfectly honest with you. It's been over a year since you've joined the team. You're fully onboarded now, but your current performance, well, it's not great. What do you mean? Sure, you've been meeting your deadlines, but always at the last minute. You're wasting company time drawing your Tiger comics and playing games when you should be doing project work. But I've been finishing the work I'm assigned on time. Isn't all that, that all that matters? Well, we need you to be performing at the next level. Uh, like taking initiative, contributing new ideas, and steering the team's direction, and so on. I just thought you could be doing better, that's all. You should be doing more than the bare minimum at this point. I know you, and I know your potential. I know you're capable of so much more. Ugh, I've been hearing that shit my whole damn life. And, well, what is it? I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but but I've been hearing whispers about workforce reductions for the creative organization. Huh? They're doing layoffs for a org? They're just rumors, Pen. Something about automating away the work, although I don't know how they'd go about doing that. So yeah, that's all the more reason to pick up more important projects and deliver faster. Your future at the company is on the line here, and mine too. This isn't really the time to be slacking off. Yeah, you're right. I'll try harder. Yeah, I know you can do it. Listen, you need a good, highly visible project to demonstrate your value to the company. I know of a good project for you that'll be available soon. All the bigwigs know about it. It's for an upcoming operations organization initiative. If you pull it off, you're basically guaranteed a promotion. I'll put you down as the owner if you're up for it. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll do it. Good. I'll let the teams involved know. I'll send you the requirements and documentation whenever I get them. Sorry for the tough love. I just really want to see you succeed. You've got this. Yeah. Okay, Pen. Good talk, but I gotta run now. See you later. I'll see ya. <sighs> we got a talking to. Whoa. That was intense. Oh, uh, you gotta... You got red on you. You heard all that, huh? I guess you were sitting right there. Did Miss Whiskey not see her? I do have a way of blending into the background. But yeah, I was just minding my own business, eating my burger. Don't worry, I won't remember anything you don't want me to. So, you alright? Yeah, it's not like I didn't already know about my how my performance was. I don't know, I think Miss Whiskey expects a little too much of me sometimes. Well, if you want to talk, just let me know. Or not, up to you. Sure. You know, I can't help but feel responsible for this in, kind of, in a kind of way. Huh? I guess it's a good time as any to tell you that I'm probably going to be leaving the company really soon. Wait, what? Feeling responsible? You feel responsible? What does that mean? Well, because of what Miss Whiskey said about the automation stuff. It's not exactly my team's area of work, but I've heard rumors from elsewhere in the organization. I don't know if anything... I don't know anything for sure, but the operations org has been implementing some initiatives to optimize efficiencies and revenues in just about every way possible. Ah, layoffs. Blythe is on a warpath. Okay, so what exactly are the initiatives? I really don't know, but I know some of them are related to automating away entire teams, like in the creative org. Me? Can't automate this? Even if you wanted to. Even if it had some sort of benefit. Well, even without all that, the company's been going in a direction lately that I just don't agree with. It's been a real motivation killer. The company does, or did, do good things. That's why I joined in the first place. What good things? Um, you know, like building cool tech that makes the world a better place, contrib contributions to open source or green technology or whatever, technology that saves lives and helps people. Hmm, okay. Like what? She's like, like air fryers. But having worked here for a while and seeing what's really going on now, 
Well, it's getting to a point where I don't want to lend away my skills to a company that'll use just use it to do awful things I don't like. I admire your principles. I know. But then again, I also need the money to pay rent. Say, Levy. Ah, you said it, sister. Uh, but you're leaving the company, then? I've been thinking about it for a while. Aw, I knew you weren't happy here, but I'm still surprised to hear that. Do you have another job lined up? Nah, I'm just gonna take a break from the corporate life as a whole. I've been dreaming of going full-time with my side gig, too. Starting an online cooking show. Whoa, I didn't know you were putting yourself out there like that. An online cooking show? That's great. Yeah, I have a bunch of money saved up, so I'm gonna try following my dreams for once. If it doesn't work out, uh, at least I'll know I tried. You know, instead of sitting at work being miserable and dreaming about what might have been. I really hope things work out for you. I'll be sure to subscribe to your cooking show. I'm calling it Air Fry with Sky. It'll be the next online cooking show sensation. It's a good thing we knew that. <laughs> you really like air fryers, huh? They're the future of cuisine. Cool. Well, just remember me when you get all big and famous. Eh, of course. I'll let you visit my mansion. My air fryer shaped mansion. I'll miss you if you go. I don't have a lot of friends here at the office. It's not like I'm going far away. Let's catch up again soon, over a burger and drinks. I know a good place. Yeah! Anyway, I should probably get going. <laughs> Is something funny? Yeah, you've got red on you. Oh, uh, just that it was really hard to take you seriously when you've got burger crumbs stuck to your face and sauce on your shirt. What? Oh my god, Sky's adorable. I need to draw fan art of her. Ah, dang it. I have a meeting after this, too. Oh, well, it's not like this hasn't happened before. Say, la vie. I'm just gonna call my friend who knows time travel. She said to only use it for emergencies, and I would constitute a stain on my shirt as an emergency. What is in that coffee? <sighs> oh, goodness. Well, that's some good progress. Let's save. Keep it going. Um... Let's go back to the main office area. I don't think we should be drinking any more of that coffee now. We seem to be time traveling too much. Still too quiet, still kind of creepy. Um, why don't we check out that mysterious hallway? You know what? Let's take a risk. Let's see if we can uh, check out the door. Let's attempt to guess the passcode. Hmm, here goes nothing. Permission is denied. This incident will not will be reported. Ah! What was that? Am I in trouble? Uh, I'm just gonna go sneak away and pretend like nothing happened. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. I knew it. I knew it was gonna, like, track a, an attempt, but... Call Hannah about Zenebot 6000. Um, I wonder if we can be like, Hi, I know I called you before, but this time it is work-related. Penny, what do you want? This had better be important. Hannah, don't hang up. It's work-related. Uh, I'm on call this week, so if it's actually work-related, I'm obligated per operations team policy to talk to you. Wait, actually, you, Penny, you touched the door, didn't you? Ah, shit. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what you're talking about. I touch lots of doors. Don't play dumb with me. Quit touching doors you're not supposed to touch. Okay. Do me a favor, Penny, and just finish whatever you're doing there so I don't have to keep cleaning up after you. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Jeez, I'm not in trouble, am I? You will be if you keep bothering me. <sighs> well, what do you want? So, um, how's work been lately? Uh, um, uh, I wonder if we can, uh, I don't know, but, uh, uh, um, uh, can you fix my email? I've been meaning to ask. My email's been broken for the past few weeks. It says to contact my system administrator. Could you help me with that? Are you the system administrator? Penny. I am in the operations team. I am not corporate IT. I never want to hear about your emails issue ever again. Okay, okay, jeez. 
So what does the operations team do exactly? I thought you did the emails. Ugh. Well, what does the creative team do exactly? I thought you made the stupid wall posters. Uh, well, we do actually make the internal wall posters, but right now I'm working in the advertising space, even though that's not my usual... Penny, I don't care. How important can your emails even be if you haven't checked them in weeks? Must be nice. I yeah, I suppose. So, um... Uh, what's the deal with the ZBot 6000? Uh, how do you know about ZBot 6000? Oh, I'm working on it. I thought that was a confidential project. Uh, I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't ask me about ZBot 6000, that thing I know nothing about. The operations org requested some advertising assets from my team for the thing, though. Then go make them. I don't know anything. Okay, okay, jeez. Hmm, maybe I can talk to someone else who knows about it? So... Uh... What's behind the door? I'm super curious. That's strictly operations team business. Stop poking your nose into things that have nothing to do with you and go make your stupid motivational posters or whatever. Okay, okay, sorry. So... How you doing? How's work been lately? Is this seriously what you meant to call- meant by this call being work-related? Uh, yeah, right. I'm technically correct, which is- Yes, the best kind of correct. Very funny. Sky would say stuff like that, too. It was incredibly annoying. <sighs> well, since you're asking, work's been a real pain in the butt. Oh, yeah? When Sky quit the company, she left me with all her work. And they actually expect me to do my job now. And now I'm on call for the team, all the time having to take late-night weekend calls from people like you. When Sky was here, I could slack off and she'd just do my work too. She'd whine and moan about it, but still. So, so that's why they were always fighting about. Hmm. Kinda sounds like you miss Sky. Absolutely not! I've just grown accustomed to her face. I'm glad she's gone. She could be dead for all I care. Oh, well she's not. She's got a YouTube channel instead. Next best thing. So did you actually need something from me, or did you just call to be annoying? I, uh, a little from column A, a little from column B. Uh... Okay, well, I think you've wasted enough of my time. I'm not on call for operations team, so I can be your conversation buddy. Oh, I thought we had a good chat. No, we didn't. Don't call me again. Sounds nice. Dang, she hung up. Well, jeez. I didn't realize... That people were so touchy when you called them late at night on the weekend to ask about work that they didn't know that you knew about. Anyway, I'm going to take a coffee break just like I would at, uh, at, at work, which I do about once a day. But <laughs> only once. I don't slack off at work. I get things done. But thank you so much for hanging out with me. Hit subscribe if you are so inclined. It would mean a lot to me. And I'm sure it would mean a lot to you, knowing that you made me so happy with the simple action. But thank you so much. I love you all. I'll see you next time. Peace out, everybody.